Hi folks, thanks for joining me again today. Now I've got, um, I used a photograph from my Patreon reference photos by Pamela for this one. If you're watching on Patreon, you'll see it down below, the photograph that I've used. If, you, if you're watching on YouTube, then I do encourage you to join us over on patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Um, so it's a very, very simple composition. If you, see the look, if you look at the photograph, I have to try and just jazz the colours up a little bit um, but let me show you the colours that I have used for this. So for this one I use the Ultramarine, Cadmium Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizard Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red. I use the large one Ransom Hike, the small one Ransom Hike, and then a little bit of a uh, little bit of Ruga, a little bit of sword line and a little quarter inch flat brush. Right. So I'm gonna I'm using the, the large Ron Ransom Hike brush and I'm just going to just try and add a massive colour through it. Let's see how I get on through it. See how, if I can do it without making it too muddy. Without over mixing, it's something I often do, just over mix everything. And so I just end up with a, instead of some nice bright colours, it just all turns to one sort of grey mash and reflects some of that down the water it's going down the bottom and on the other side with a bit of crimson a bit of crimson and ultramarine it's just darken it a little bit a bit of paint grey in there as well um, Crimson and Payne's Grey. Make this bigger, big. Right, now I'm going to put in those distant hills. Something like that. I, I, I can tell straight away now. I think I'm going to be doing another. I'm going to be drying this and rewetting it because I, I, I haven't quite got the sort of oomph that I'm after. But for now, I'm just going to pop in like a bit of landmass. Just get the basics in there. So just, just a sort of basic layout to that now. Let's just pull the paper tight because it's stretched a little bit. I'm going to give that a quick dry and then I'm going to re-wet it and have another, another bash. I've got the main okay. So I've got the main composition in there. So what I want to do now is to just try and get some more drama into it. I'm gonna re-wet it. And I'm gonna put those same colours in. Let's see what happens. There is a danger. It just looks like a 
complete mess. Or I'm, I'm just after like to, to be honest, a lot of the time it is trial and error, and I can't really tell what I'm looking for until I actually see. It. Might sound a bit silly, but. So I'm going to add a bit of um, a bit of texture to the. I'll make these proper names in there. Just add something to them there, like that. What I want to do is just level that up a bit. Need to straighten this. One more, just clean the brush, take the excess water off. I'm going to switch to the smaller brush now. Switch to the smaller one. And it's, it's a few. A few of those same colours across there. Let's get that sort of land mass that's out in there in the water. That water actually comes down along there. That needs to lighten a little bit, a bit more than that. And then in the foreground, it's a bit more green in there, I think. And then to the yellows. Taking away all those things I just did. Right, let's give it a quick dry, see what it looks like now. It's a 
few docks in there as well. Right, I'm going to start putting this tree in, I think. Um, first, I just want that dry. Now, on this quite dark, so I'm just giving lemon yellow. Lots of panes grey, a little bit more water. Seems to be leaning to the left a little bit. So what I might do is just sort of block in. Comes down to about the head, doesn't it? Something like that. And the rest of it, I'm going to switch to the sword liner brush. I'm going to go into the same colour. A bit of lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. And I'm sort of coming up from the back. Something like that. Put that away now, finish with that one. I'm going back into the little paint brush. I'm going to brush that over there like that. And then I just want to add a little bit of, I'm going to get a bit of texture in there, I think. slightly dark to reflect that sort of dark sky section. The grass in here and there, not too much, so easy to overdo it. Might do a little bit more with the need to be dry first.
Just a very, just a hint of. Uh, as soon as I said hints, I went too much. No, I don't want to be too mad with that. But what I do want, I'm going to put a little boat in. I think I need a little boat. So what I'm going to do is take a bit of tissue and uh, this little flat brush here. And the obvious place is over here somewhere. So I'm looking for the darkest. I'm sticking right over here, I think. I'll do. Put put it in, then just leave it alone. Don't faff about with it. Um, and I think, I think that's pretty much it really. Um, something's wrong with a little bird. Hang on. Little bird up there, I think. And I think I'm going to call <coughs> I think I'm going to call that one done, I think. Just take a little bit of, bit of this red. Um, I'm just going to sign this one down here. I'm going to call that one finished. So let's stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. This is the finished paint in the mains. This is Pamela's uh, Isle of Mold painting I was working and um, photograph I was working from. So you can see I've kept the composition pretty very very similar, but just try and make the try and make the colours more interesting. I think the introduction of the reds, the crimson, the lizard crimson and light red up in the sky area. Just gives it that little bit of um, extra warmth, I think, that makes it a bit more interesting. Did the same colours in those distant mountains and then just took off a little bit of the paint with a clean, damp brush. You can see the big tree there. I tried putting that as strong as I could. Um, and then you can see all the twigs and branches there in between the foliage using the small sword liner. If you remember I did the sharp edge with a clean, damp paint brush. And then over there again, just use a clean damp brush to take out that little yacht. Coming through right into the foreground, one of these quite dark to contrast against the light of the water and the lighter sections of the sky. But as well as the darks, you'd have to have the lights in there as well. See this little lighter area, just contrast nicely. And then a little bit of scraping to suggest the grasses and a little bit of sword, um, sword liner work as well. A few more grasses in there. So it's a very simple scene, but with a little bit of colour and, and tonal contrast, I think it works pretty well. So this is, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks as always for watching it, for your support, the members at patreon.com. Um, if you're not a member yet, do, we'd love to have you join us. Um, take part in the, the painting challenges and then the rest of it, and we'll join all the chat groups. So until next time, keep practising. If you've got any questions, please ask. And I'll see you again soon.